Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel where we bring you the latest and greatest in crypto news. Today, we've got a fascinating update from Cardano's very own Charles Hoskinson. He recently shared his thoughts on what he's calling a major Bitcoin innovation, and it's generating some serious buzz. In this video, we're going to dive into what Charles Hoskinson had to say and what he means by this brain concept and why he thinks it could reshape Bitcoin's future, as well as its impact it might have on Cardano's own development. The community's reaction has been huge, with Cardano and Bitcoin fans alike curious about what this could mean for the future of decentralized networks. We're going to explore the details, break down what it means for ADA holders, and share some of the social sentiment that's been lighting up around this announcement. So if you're holding Cardano or just interested in how this innovation could play out across the crypto space, stick around. You don't want to miss this. Let's go. So let's start here then. This week, Cardano Summit 2024 has LCX on board. They're an exchange and they're bringing together industry giants and innovators to discuss partnerships Cardano's latest achievements and blockchain's future path or direction with a focus on network collaboration and cross-industry applications. LCX's uh, involvement is sparking interest in how Cardano's reach could grow and in actual fact is growing. Uh, what partnerships do you think Cardano will make next? Uh, really interested to see the likes of Zilliqa at the uh, Cardano Summit, uh, Singularity Net and LCX. But not only that, Binance. Could we be on the verge of seeing native tokens launch on Binance like we're seeing when it comes to the LCX exchange. More to come on that later in the video. So latest analysis suggests that ADA may still have plenty of growth potential with analysts advertising caution on selling ADA too soon. Many expect that if ADA can maintain its momentum and leverage new developments, reaching a new all-time high is within reach. And we've seen some of the stuff coming out of the Cardano Summit suggesting just that, particularly with the bridge with Bitcoin or the brain, as we're going to come on to further, um, you know, and delve into what Charles is actually labeling it up uh, as really big developments that could see Cardano ADA access, you know, some of uh, the $1.3, $1.4 trillion worth of market cap that Bitcoin has. We're talking about, you know, lots of liquidity for DeFi and could actually make Cardano Ada's DeFi, you know, very, uh, very lucrative for early investors. What are your thoughts? Uh, do you believe ADA is set to you know, break out or do you think that it needs more time? Drop your comments down in the comment section. Really interested to get your views and opinions. The sentiment for this is um, leaning optimistic but cautious as Cardano builds momentum. And obviously we've just seen uh, war, uh, I guess, uh, I don't know if it's really war just yet, um, but you know, we're seeing uh, a retaliation from Israel in Iran, and uh, that has definitely impacted the crypto market today as we've seen significant pullbacks. But for me, these are all buying opportunities. Hopefully, that won't escalate further. And uh, you know, I did a weekly report for our members over in the Cheeky Crypto Discord talking about you know volatility, talking about the risk factors, and this was just one of them. So yeah, definitely worth checking out the free Discord at a bare minimum link in the description of the video. So the bit that you've all been waiting for, direct news. As I was saying, I was expecting a big announcement from the Cardano Summit 2024, and uh, it wasn't a letdown, right? Charles Hoskinson, the mastermind behind Cardano ADA, has spotlighted a transformation involving Bitcoin innovation, one he believes will redefine blockchain infrastructure by addressing scalability and decentralization uh, 
uh, with unprecedented effectiveness. This breakthrough suggests a revolutionary path forward, especially as Cardano's tech aligns seamlessly with these objectives. So this is all about the you know the the new bridge uh, that Charles is saying it isn't a bridge; it's a brain. It aims to propel Bitcoin into the world of DeFi, GameFi, and smart contracts, areas previously out of reach for the major blockchain itself, Bitcoin. So this is a really big deal, right? And basically, what it means is you're going to be able to, um, if, I guess, yield earnings um, if you're holding Bitcoin, but not just in Bitcoin but also in ADA, you'll be able to access, um, you know, uh, DeFi, smart contracts. It does bring a lot to the table for uh, Bitcoin as much as it does ADA and Cardano. So I think that this works both very well for Bitcoin and Cardano. And what really does interest me, right, is I, I see Bitcoin maxis, you know, putting comments on uh, Twitter. And I, I reply to one to say this is you know, bait for Cardano, um, you know, investors and uh, advocates, right? Because it doesn't matter what you say to a Bitcoin maxi, um, they're never going to, um, you know, see your 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 view. They're not going to even entertain it in most cases. And, um, you know, you're just fighting a losing battle. So these are just you know, battles that you don't really want to to, to get involved in, right? It's It's funny because you get the likes of Stacks, and various other, you know, L2s working with uh, Bitcoin or building on top of Bitcoin. And the Bitcoin maxis, when this is happening, are really positive about the innovation. Uh, but when it's Cardano, it, it, it's more a case of why do I even need this, um, you know, and, and so on, right? And um, what they don't realize because they're closed minded is, uh, you know, it is the this adds even more value to, to Bitcoin, right? Being able to participate and lock up Bitcoin is is going to only be good for Bitcoin's price, right? And this is what a lot of people don't understand. It doesn't just have to be a store of value. It can have some utility as well. Um, but look, on the flip side, it definitely, you know, helps Cardano, right? And Cardano, it's interesting for me that we see different projects, um, you know, go into the Cardano Summit, the likes of Silica, um, Singularity Net, LCX, Binance, and uh, you know, for me, this is a really promising uh, to to see. And I've mentioned a few times with members in particular that I think we're going through an acquisition uh, phase uh, within blockchain and you know, merging phase. Right? We're seeing this with Singularity Net, Fetch, and Ocean, and I think there'll be more that join that ecosystem. Um, you know, that's the AI kind of sector but i think we are going to see the same in layer ones layer twos uh, and you know perhaps even oracles at some point maybe not just yet but you know we're seeing this with memes as uh, we did the uh, interview with some of the biggest uh, projects uh, working on base so definitely really really interesting stuff and uh, you know i think there's a lot to happen let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below so cardano is tackling the core issues of decentralized governance at the cardano summit 2024 they're taking bold steps to ensure that governance remains fair open and led by the community itself this focus is not just about tech it's about empowering ada holders to truly shape the network's future and look, this article is really interesting. I'm going to share it in our free Discord link in the description of the video. Definitely worth checking out the free Discord. Uh, you know, could this shift make Cardano the leader in decentralized governance? That's my question I pose to, to you. Uh, I don't think it does. I've got concerns over governance. I think, you know, governance, when it's introduced in the way that it's being introduced in the blockchain space, normally means that the founder is walking away. It normally means that you've got inexperienced uh, investors making decisions you know based on their heart not their brains and uh, ultimately they're not experienced enough to make these decisions not only that you compound it with the fact that most state pools uh, are actually run by a very few a handful of um, you know companies and if you're giving power of your vote to these individuals it makes it very centralized so look there's a lot that people don't realize is happening behind the scenes and i think that that you know for me is is quite scary but let me know your 
thoughts, your opinions in the uh, comments below. The sentiment around this is, um, you know, I guess pumped, leap forward for decentralization. But, you know, I think actually there's not really a lot going on here. And it's just my thoughts, my opinions. Let me know yours in the comments below. And we can't forget Binance were at the Cardano Summit 2024. Speculation was buzzing around the potential for a listing for Cardano native tokens. This uh, development could mean greater visibility and increased liquidity, giving the Cardano community reason to, to stay optimistic. Now, you know, Actually, when Binance were, were talking at the event, they, there was no mention of any native token listings. Um, but that isn't to say that it isn't going to happen. So, you know, again, just really interesting. The, the community is really cautiously bullish on, I guess, the hopeful announcement that you know, might come that Binance are going to start to list native tokens from the Cardano ecosystem. It would significantly impact the price of ADA and the project's building on Cardano. And this is something that a lot of project teams have talked to me as being a big issue. So it would be good that this gets resolved and, uh, you know, these different um, exchanges do start to list Cardano native tokens. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. I think it's inevitable this will happen eventually. Um, but yeah, I'm interested to get your views and opinions. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and make sure that you hit the notification bell so you don't miss any other videos and I will catch you in tomorrow's video. Take care.